There it is. Yep. We're live now. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday morning at 8.30 Mountain Time. 8.30? That's at night. What time 10 is it? 10.30. 10 a.m. Mountain, Mountain Time? 10 a.m. I don't know. I don't know what day it is or what time it is. I didn't sleep for a few days, so it's 10 a.m. Mountain Time every Wednesday, and we take junk and things that would be cast off otherwise and turn them into home decor that we sell or keep. Zeb and I have two very different projects today. He is using just um, some cast offs from our woods line to do some fun projects. You guys can see the big old split in that and then the weird knots. It just didn't cut out good. So I've got a ton of these in the garage, probably about 15 or so. And then this is another uh, thing that we make. It's uh, We call it the off handle uh, cutting board. And it had a huge chunk that was broken out up here. I don't know if the CNC did that or what it was, but what I did is I sanded it back smooth and it's kind of got like a funky look, but I think we're going to dress it up a little bit and make it look cool. All right, Kaylin will be on in a minute to drop links. She, her computer is unresponsive this morning, so she's restarting it. But hello, if you guys are on Facebook, be sure to share out this video. And if you're on YouTube and you like these kind of DIYs and makeovers, be sure to hit that subscribe and thumbs up. Also, if you want to buy the products you're going to see us use, you can pick those up at jamierayvintage.com. All right. I'm just checking to see. You can see the warp in that. Um, it was flat when I cut it, and then it went <laughs> And then a little whoopee. So I think this would make, you know, it's it's cutting board shape, but I think it'd make a cool sign. So we're going to do Here's some projects today. So we're going to you know, waste not want not. And I have a, um, it's not really garbage, but this is a pillowcase that I made for Thanksgiving. And I'm just going to make it two-sided because I'm hoping that I can finish getting the majority of my Christmas decorating done this week. And that will be our video on Friday. So I just, I need to get this done so that way I can do that video. And I've been out of town. Um, for those of you that don't know, my dad was in the hospital. He still is. He's doing a lot better. But I flew down um, so I could do night watch because he had some kidney issues. And when they have kidney issues. And he wasn't just, playing nice with the nurses yeah. either. He was, he bit through his IV. <laughs> Now he's fine. His brain is good. Um, but when you have kidney issues, it makes you a little bit delirious. And otherwise, they'd have to put him in restraints. So my sister and I took turns on the night shift, which is what I went down there for. So I'm just a little tired. All right. So you, the great looking candlestick here, right? Got it to like 90%. Was getting ready to sand it and then slowed the lathe down and noticed. I'm going to use that one too. Oh, Maybe. I'll share it with you. And then, uh, you know, I noticed it had lost a knot at some point. So it's got this huge hole over here that I can fit my whole finger in that runs the whole side of this. So, you know, I'm going to paint it up and, uh, you know, we just don't ship that out. Like we, we keep them here. And then if, if I put it in the shop and someone sees it, then, uh, you know, they know well, it's we, there. We list them finished and we show them as is. So yeah. It'll probably go up on the website. Also, all of my drills okay, are wow. over at the church. Um, so <laughs> I, I broke out the brace and bit because this is a wood round. This one actually didn't really have much wrong with it. It had a little divot over here in the side, but I was actually able to sand that smooth, so, but we're still going to use it and brace and bit here we go. Cause I just need to make a little pilot hole. They actually work really well with these, uh, hex type screws or uh, drill bits that come with your impact drivers these days. So I'm using a modern drill bit with this. And I'm just making a darker gray. We made a light gray the other day. We need to go to the shop and go grab some old school or weathered wood. But if you don't, you know, if you don't want to buy every color, you can buy black and white, make your own grays, get your primary colors, and they can make all the colors that you need, which is what I'm doing here because I don't like straight up black. Usually I go with like a dark kind of gunmetal gray. So that's what I'm mixing up here. If right. I had my preference, I would just be using weathered wood right now. And we have no more plastic spoons. So I'm reusing this old straw. All right. So this is a dowel screw and I'm going to use this. It's, it's pointed at both ends. I don't know if you can see that it's super tiny. It's only inch Double and a quarter. Okay. I will have to try to not do that. Um, so now I've got that in this hole here. And we're going to make a pedestal out of this. I think I might even go get some IOD uh, clay and try to trim around the edge, make this a little bit special. 
You're going to make it a special. Yep. All right. So I'm just using DIY paint. I've got little black dress with some white swan and my JRB stencil brush. And this is one of our newer Christmas stencils. It's our pine tree farm seeds. It's kind of a farmhouse style. And it works perfect on this size pillowcase because it kind of fills up the whole Is that space. one of those Ikea ones, the felt Ikea ones? Yeah. The name I brought. What's the name on that? I brought one because I have one that I just It's have the Sunella from Sanella. Ikea. And I like to do this a lot when I have pillowcases. Is I'll make them for like two seasons that are back to back. And then literally all you have to do is turn the pillow around and you're ready for the next season. <laughs> and then if I decorate for Thanksgiving or for Christmas early, but Thanksgiving rolls around for the day of Thanksgiving, I can just flip it back and then I'm sold. I'm All right. I'm solid. So let's say you guys, you know, this is Waste Not Wednesday. You say you don't have the scraps to do this. If you've got a jigsaw or a neighbor that's got one, you can make these rounds fairly easily. I like to use scrap wood to do it. Um, and then the candlesticks, you could... You know, you got a table on the side of the road or even a chair that you can find. You can you can get creative and do something like this pretty easily. But these are scraps that are literally probably going to get thrown away. I probably would have saved this round top here because it ended up sanding out OK and looks fine. But this one here, I mean, if we don't do something with it, it's just firewood. Well, and here's the other thing, too. If you guys fine furniture on the side of the road. It's not really salv salvageable as is. You can just repurpose it. Like you said, like cutting off spindles, things like that. And then you can make things with them, which is always good. You guys see better now? Realized I had the camera pretty high. Uh, Leslie is moving today. Good oh, job, Oh, it's Leslie. moving day. All right. Moving day is equal parts exciting and stressful. Okay, I'm going to go get the IOD stuff that I wanted to do to this. Okay. I'm just over here. I'm trying not to shift, but I'm very shifty, so I don't know what this is actually going to look like when I take it off. I should have taped it down. If I screw this up, I've got a new one, which doesn't really make it waste not Wednesday, but it is what it is. I could have sewed something with drop claws, but that wasn't happening either. Sometimes you got to cut yourself a slack. A slack, some slack. I really, I should just stop talking. Every now and then you just Sentences need- Sentences are hard. You just need an easy project to take your mind off some things. My mind's actually been pretty good. I actually had a really good time down in Arizona. I enjoyed visiting my dad. I was glad that he got better. And I really like my visiting my sister. I don't see her that often. She's an RN and was in nurse. She went into nursing school in her 50s. And then she works nights. And so she's just really busy, especially with the pandemic and everything. She's had to take a bunch of extra shifts. So I just haven't seen her in a while. So it's good to see her. All right, so got a bunch of molds over here. Should we go fancy? Oh my gosh! Around the edge or beat it? Are you, are you I don't even know what's going on here. Oh, you shifted. Just, just let it go. Just let it go. The tree won't matter. I've, I've you been, might have to do that tree over there too, though. I've been so much shifting. I'm full of shift. Okay. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm crafting tired. Okay. All right. I tried to get a good night's sleep last night, but my body is so out of whack from not sleeping the night before that I don't think. Let's that. see, we've also got these couple of options. I'm thinking um, just a narrow bead of clay right around here. And you can do these, like it doesn't have to be round. You could do a square pedestal. If you do the IOD stuff, I think that actually look really cool too. Where's our, oh, here we go. Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. We have so many molds over here. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm looking through. <laughs> Has anybody made a stocking holder after they watched us last week with the soup cans? I'm curious if anybody tried it after watching us. Or maybe everybody's like, that's fun for you, but I'm not doing that. That's fun for that's you. That's fun for you. Oh, I think I'm going to do this. I watch people do stuff sometimes, and I'm like, that looks like really cute, but I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to do this rope. One, I think that would look cool on there. We'll just pretend like it's snow. Hey, it looks great. I'm, I'm gonna go with it. I'm not selling it, so it doesn't matter. Just it's for our good. house. It's gotta look good enough for me. Sometimes that's all you need. I'm gonna tape my next one. You're gonna tape the next one off? Yeah, cause you can't like sand off. This is what it is. So DIY paint you can use on fabric like this and you just let it sit 24 hours. Then you use a iron and you heat set it. 
at whatever temperature is appropriate for the fabric and you're good to go. I don't ever really wash mine much after I do them, but some people do wash them. So just wash them on gentle cycle if you do. All right, so got the cornstarch in there to help with the mold release. Jane says I have a right to be shifty. She's been traveling and sleeping in strange, places. strange places, and she doesn't. Jamie's not a heavy sleeper anyway. Since we've had kids, like the slightest little noise in the house will get her up, and then she doesn't go back to sleep because she's. She looks at what she does is she looks at her phone, I don't always and then she's like, "There's 83 notifications. Let me look at these," and then she gets her going. And I try not to. Okay, I do my best. All right. Uh, I should go. have done what Jamie. Jamie always says, "Roll it into a snake." I think that turned out pretty good. Oh, that looks great! And you've got—is that fall on the backside? Yeah. So fall is what this was already on here, so I just reused it and did winter here. So that's one pillowcase down. And Elizabeth says, "Hey, we are see we see some angry sleep deprived stenciling techniques." Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what you know, sometimes life isn't about always being perfect it's about pushing through and i actually do need to get this done so i feel like i'm winning yep and i actually am going to be cleaning out the garage probably tomorrow this afternoon maybe i got a couple other things i got to do before that but uh my dad and i mostly my dad he was here he got the uh the doors back on the garage we're calling it the barn well, over at the, it does look more like a barn. It's really tall, um, kind of longer, but it, it hasn't been able to be closed or secured for several years because there was no back door on it and the side door was falling off. So he repaired the side door and it's built... also not secured to this foundation. Oh, it wasn't. It is now. We anchored it. <laughs> I took my big drill over there. It was just sitting on the foundation, which it's probably been there 30 or 40 years. So fine. It's, it's okay. Whatever. Uh, hasn't blown away, but all the doors were like the door jams were shifting cause it wasn't secured down. So we anchored it. We anchored it down to the cement or the concrete and, uh, and now we can lock it up and all my drills are over there right now. So, so I'm going to get to park in the garage long, long story short. I mean, it's part of the garage. Yeah, we're gonna get you we back in the garage. Chuck story. May he rest in peace. Was it a pop check story? They I just like, they I needed to know how bad it was. They needed to know okay. like the situation. And we can't just tear this building down because it's this far from the property line. And so the city, if we were to rebuild it, would never approve it. They'd be like, nope, because you got to have ten foot easement now. If you don't know what a pop check story is, my um, cute grandma Doreen, who's not even my grandma, she's actually Caitlin's grandma. Um, on the other side, her husband, her husband, Chuck, as he got older, his stories took longer and longer and had more details. And so whenever we can't get to the point, and he was so fun, like I love Papa Chuck, but whenever we can't get to the point, I'm like, is that a Papa Chuck story? I have them too. I got I to the point. <laughs> it just took a minute. <laughs> Maybe in my brain, it just took a long time because I'm sleep deprived. Well, and you know the story. I do know the story, but I am excited to park in the garage. So are we recording? Some of it we are. Um, we have some projects coming up. So there are some things that we're not recording currently just because of other things we have going on. Um, but we didn't this record is that. like, we didn't record that because this is definitely not anything that anybody would want to watch. And I know you all say you want to watch, but we just built a house and I'm fully aware of the videos that people are and are not interested in. And that kind of stuff is, it's even boring for us. So. It was just putting on a cup. We built a couple doors out of plywood and put them on. All right, let me see if I can get well, this. We, have, we're, we haven't started anything on the inside of the church. Permits, we got all kinds of things going on. I can't even can. get a hold of the city on the electric. Yeah, we, busy, we thought busy. we were going to start doing the cottage, but we can't do the cottage because um, we the electrical is a hot mess and we can't go to the city to get a permit. So I guess such is the life. <laughs> Jen says they like your stories. I love it too. We are going to have a tour of the church um, here, hopefully in the next week or so. We've got to get the... Yeah, we'll show you what together. it looks like as is how we purchased it. We'll give you a good walkthrough on that. 
And then it's, it's probably really, gonna be a minute before I mean, we do very inside, many. Yeah. And it's not, but it like legit just looks like the inside of a house. Yeah. Because that's what it is. Yeah. The outside, which you guys have already seen, looks more like a church. The inside, not so much. I'm trying to get these. These are the French. Um, oh, Christmas you're ones. going fancy. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, you know me, I'm fancy. I need to get a drink of water. Don't drink your paint. That would be gross. I, I just, that. you're tired, so I'm just throwing that it out there. It could totally happen today. I'm going to take my braces out. Might also be a good call. I'm having a hard time talking. They're not helping. Okay. So I'm thinking of stenciling this while I'm getting the clay on here. Comment below. Holiday themed. I've got... I've got all this stuff that Jamie's got here. We could put a grain sack on on this. This is the center. I need dry. It's centered enough. It's word, so it's like a little bit more. Yeah, important. it's centered enough. Um, we could do like Christmas tree stuff. So just comment what you want to see on this pedestal. I am going to be stenciling it, so we can't. If you comment nothing at all, I probably I'm still going to stencil it. <laughs> Zeb is. His parents left this morning. Yep. My dad is doing good. I haven't talked to my sister Karen to get his levels because they measure like creatine levels, bun levels, potassium because he had kidney failure and he had high potassium and the high potassium actually caused him to have a heart attack, which he's never had. He's had heart surgery, but just because of his veins, he had open heart surgery because he had to have quadruple bypass like 24 years ago when I was 15. Um, anyways. So, that was before my time. That was before Zeb's time. He's never had a heart attack. He's the first of that. But the doctor was like, his heart's in really good shape. And he did say that his valve was really impressive. And they knew my dad's cardiologist, when we mentioned who the cardiologist was, the people in Arizona are like, oh, Dr. Weisenhut, because he's like renowned cardiologist. So at least there's that. There's a reason we brought him to Utah yeah. to get that work done. Yeah. Good cardiologist. So. And he's getting really good care. My sister um, works at the hospital that he's at, and she's on. He's on her floor. Obviously, she's not his nurse, but he's getting. They've just really been spoiling in him and taking good care of him. I mean, they do that to all of their patients, I'm sure, but it feels feels like we're getting special care. And they allowed us to stay the night, so that way we could keep him from um, being in restraint since she wasn't cognitive for a bit. But he's doing good. That is just a little bit. All right. Round two of rope. I'm just taking all these words and taping them in place so I don't have any shit. They're all separate. Because I will probably lose my crap if they go all over the place. I haven't had enough sleep to be patient with my stenciling. And I also didn't eat breakfast because my Mariah came over this morning and did my lashes. So They were having a situation after. It was. I was supposed to get them done Monday. I missed my last day to go to Arizona. So they needed to be done. And we don't really, Zeb's birthday is coming up. So I'm trying to clear the weekend so we can enjoy his She's trying, birthday. but I'm fighting against it. I'm like, I don't want to work that hard this week. I just want to, let's just have a regular week. I don't want to like be ahead. <laughs> you'll be fine and you'll be happy about it. All right. So now that I've got all these words, I think this pack comes with like. For, for the record, I don't really celebrate birthdays and I don't really enjoy celebrating it's, other people's it's, birthdays it's not, and especially tell, not my own. I keep telling you like it's not super exciting. So when you guys see the pictures and you're like, wow, that's all he did for his 40th birthday, just know that that's all he wanted. And there I would and, prefer nothing. I will probably work most of the day. Let's be honest. You are not going to work. I'm probably going to. I ordered pie. <laughs> I, I might have to break down and tell you what I have planned because you're grumpy and we might not make it to Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put these words on here. I've not actually used this, these stencils as much as I've wanted to. I really was excited to design it, and then I just haven't done anything with them. So you have to look it up to know what they mean. I know LaCrèche is the nativity. This is Merry Christmas, Joyous Noel. Uh, Le Rebillon, I can't remember what that one is. Papa Noel is Santa Claus, and then La Barre de Noel. I think this is Silent Night? I don't know. I don't remember. I looked it all up before I made the stencils. That's as good as it. Thank goodness for Google. Google Translate. So three ropes on this is going to get this done, I think. I think I'm going to be able to go around. 
I might have to do like a little piece at the end. Um, but <gasps> did you mess up? Yeah. Did you go in between? Line. Yes. Oh, well, we'll do it over time. It'll be okay. I should probably be using the smaller stencil brush. It's fine. Just put like a little like red berry or something there. It's like, like an accent. Like some a... like do some red like berry accents around over the top. It's like what Odilia had to do when she was so we Odilia's on the cheer team. Here comes another long story. Hold on, real quickly, I gotta answer a question, then you can pop a chuck it up. Okay. Um I'm, we are actually every Thanksgiving with Caitlin. Mariah has a bunch of her side of the family, because Mariah is the in-law coming over, and so we're doing Thanksgiving with Caitlin. So that's just Kai's question. Vicky wants to know if we're doing any videos with the upcoming paint frosting. If you watch um, Saturday's video, Zeb used it as a raised stencil. Mm -hmm. You have to go all the way to the end of the video to see it. If you don't want to watch the whole thrift haul, you can go all the way to the end, and we did do it. And we will do some videos. I just have to wait until inspiration strikes, but we did use it. So, and we are shipping. So if you haven't picked up the paint frosting and you want to, you can go to jamierayvintage.com and we are shipping now. And we do still have some left, but when it's gone, we won't have any more until January. All right, proceed. Okay, so if you've been following uh, along with our little uh, community football team, Lehigh High School is in the 5A state championship game on Friday. And Odilia, being a cheerleader, had to make posters for two of the players on the team. Um, Did she get to pick? I don't know if she picked, um, but she misspelled one of the kids' names. His last name is Mendez, and she had it written out in pencil, and then in marker she wrote Mendez. She missed the D. And so we had to figure, and, and the cheer team had brought the paper to her, so she had like two pieces of paper. She didn't have anything to mess up, and they were a specific size. And she's like, no, it has to be a specific size. We can't just go get new paper. So we had to figure out a way to make Menez say Mendez without looking super funky. So there were some embellishments on his name. Like, and you can poster. embellish this the same way. His poster was really special. I'm sure I can. That was a good story. That was a good one. I wasn't here for that, so... Okay. Yeah, that was that was Sunday night. Late. She had her Sadie Hawkins dance. I got to hear all about that. She had a really good time. The boy she went with was really respectful, opened the door for her. They had a good time. She said it was hard to slow dance with him because he's six foot two and she is. I think all he's like six four. And no, he's she than says that. he's only six two. Oh, that's my size. Yeah, he's the, the, the perfect man. Oh, I see. And she's five foot three. Is she five three? I think she she's like she's, five two. She says she's five three. Okay, I don't know. Little. Oh my goodness, it worked out perfect. I'm gonna just stretch this just a hair. Like a boss. Oh, I got too much glue on it though, it's sliding. Okay, you spoke too soon, you spoke too soon. I'm almost done. And then I can help you with your project. I just really wanted to get this done and like I said, we're on a schedule this week. We also are on a tight schedule because we have to be done before Friday because that's when the state football game is. Yes. Priorities, man. We got to get all of our videoing done and we had to finish um we got sick and so we didn't finish some thrift haul stuff from like not last saturday but saturday before so zeb started yesterday and then i finished i couldn't sleep this morning so i got up and waxed it and painted everything so if you've been waiting on something the thrift haul from not last saturday but saturday before it's coming it's coming because we have that's how you get jobs done just keep working <laughs> I'm gonna we have eat. like a million projects. Last Saturday, you'll notice the hall only had like two items to be painted. Yeah. And uh, luckily for me, I had already, I didn't decide to go up until Saturday at the wrestling match right before the boys wrestled. And I already got the thrift hall photographed and listed on the website. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh, it's not too bad. That's really cute. I am, oh, yeah, it turned I out great. That. That's like the cutest thing I've done with these, which is I hadn't done anything. So these are all the French stencil word packs. So these are at JanuaryVintage.com, too. What do you guys think? They're I think great. that turned out good. Yeah, that's actually one of my more favorite things. Because there's like this little line right here, but I'll wait till it dries and I'll pick at it because it's velvet, so I should be able to get it off. Um, but sometimes it's better if you just leave stuff alone and don't mess with it. Because you don't want a big gray blob. Let me, let me focus the camera. 
so you guys can see. All right, now we've got rope. Jane says he was very tall. Did you see your pictures? They were so cute. Zeb took their pictures for, um, like, they all, for whatever reason now, anytime there's a dance, there has to be pictures. And so we've officially, we're the parents with the camera, and so Zeb always takes and does the pictures and edits them. <clears throat> I like the pillow with the French words, Tina says. And so I was thinking about possibly glittering them, but I don't know. I'm going to let this dry for a sec before I start painting it. Um, let me get this clay up. I think I'm going to stencil this cutting board here with a big Christmas tree down the middle. I like it, but I would make a Christmas tree go that way. Like the top up here? The top here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That way it can stand up or be hung or do you whatever. want to use this color what are you using that'll work okay so i'm thinking about how to get some glitter on here because i actually don't own glitter <laughs> right now so weird i know and so i'm going to maybe use the um silver lining the mica powder yes it's the making powder actually that you get from diy and i'm going to paint this on first with liquid patina and then sprinkle that on there what do you think i think that'll happen? yep i think that'll be winning Maybe. Jane says they were a cute couple. They were. And he's just, he's nice. His whole family's nice. His mom's nice. We know. And she we, said, I was like, who do you want to ask to say these? I'm like, you've got to get on there early so you get pick at the litter. And she told me she wanted to ask. I was like, oh, he's a nice boy. Because <laughs> he plays football. So I, I, he also him. wrestles. He also wrestles. So it's like somebody that I've, <laughs> so known. we've, we've known him for a while. Well, and Not their older right. brother played football with Harrington. Yeah. So the, the boy that Odelia went with is a twin. Um, but she couldn't go out with both of them. And she's known uh, the one that she went with a lot longer. She's been in class at school with him since like, what, like second grade? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just painting over the top of where I stenciled it to add a little bit of glitter. We'll see, I've never done this before. I felt like live TV was the right time. And you, I guess you could stencil this on too. All right, Jamie used this stencil on the, the pillow case i'm gonna use this one you guys have probably seen us use these a lot these are both really good grain sack type signage uh christmas signage for trees which are really popular okay. anything made with these like fly out the door like we can't we can't keep it in stock although i was wanting a longer tree so i might go with this one and then use pieces let's see which side's wet okay and I could totally stencil this on, but if I stenciled it on, this is really thin. And so I, I worry that it would like leak underneath the stencil because this is a top coat, not a paint. So I feel like it's easier to brush it with this little detail brush here. All right. I think, I think there's what I'm going to go with. Do you have your brush you were using? Can you pass me this brush you were using to stencil? Thanks. Thanks. I'll get back to questions in a little bit. Uh, Lunchbox says, I let, see a lot of people using diamond dust lately. Highly doubtful it would be great on the pillow. This is really fine and not heavy. So, like, if you use, like, a big glitter, it would probably not stick as well, I don't think. But this is pretty fine, this, like, mica powder here, the silver lining. So, it seems to do good. I'm going to do just this top one, and I'll show you. And then I'll probably help Seb with what he's doing. I just wanted to see how this worked. We like to experiment on live TV. Well, I like to try new things, and I don't always have time. Like, pretty much, this is why we do live videos because it forces me to get creative. Otherwise, I would kind of do it. Do you have a smaller stencil brush? This is really wide on these details. This is one of our prototypes, but it'll work. Okay. We don't actually have green stencil brushes. I always have to. They have this size, but you won't get this green handle. You can't get that color. Oh, Jane says so he fits into the family. <laughs> she's only she's only sixteen, so we're not. Yeah, Harrington like played football with his older brothers, and he actually wrestled his last year. These boys were on the high school team with him his senior year. Yeah, I'm excited wrestling. because um, the wrestling team this year has a bunch of ranked wrestlers, and a lot of them are the boys that wrestles with Harrington because he um encouraged a lot of the football players to wrestle when he was a senior because he did it his junior year and really liked it and he got a bunch of those freshmen who are now juniors to wrestle and they're actually doing really really good 
So it's been a fun year. It's been super fun to like cheer the team on um, at semifinals and quarterfinals and now state. And we always have people ask, like, do you have a boy on the team? And I'm like, no, I'm just a Lehigh fan. We're now that family. We've lived in the community and our kids, we've got a kid that's graduated from the high school. We're having our second kid. She'll be a, oh, Billy's going to be a senior next Sorry, year. I'm not watching. I don't <laughs> Um, you know, and like, like Jamie and I were teasing, we're like, we're still going to be coming to the games after all the kids are graduated, working in like the snack shack and stuff. <laughs> it's just fun. I mean, people cheer on professional teams. I mean, much rather cheer on, cheer on my local team. All right. I'm just going to shake off the glitter. Now it's going to officially be all over my house. This would be so cute. If you guys were using the DI, oh, can you? The, I don't know what you do with that because we're stopped. Um, yeah, we're, it's still rolling. It just doesn't oh, focus okay. good. Well, wait, we're paused on here too. So uh, it doesn't pause. It is frozen because Jane gave the frozen emoji. Oh. Uh-oh, we're still frozen. Oh, it's doing it again. What? It did this the other day. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't know. Get a new camera. Hold on, guys. In here, I said you can't see it. So let's just do this. Just use this one. All right, we'll just go up to this mic Hold on. here. Oh, please! I was about to show you guys. The the quality won't be as good, but we're just going to use the iPads camera. There, there it we is. Are. Hi guys! All right, let's fix this. <laughs> we Always. use like our big DSLR. But... Always something, you know. The, the stream was going so perfectly. I know. All right, so I'm going to show you the sparkly. Can you see the little sparkles on there? It doesn't pick up as well, but there's sparklies all in the letters. Um, it pick up better on the other camera, but it's super cute. So I'm going to do this to all of these. Um, and if you were going to use the DIY paint frosting, I would totally suggest, if you were using a like on a Christmas house, doing the mica powder on it with some liquid patina to hold it on, that would be so cute. And I like it because it's just a really fine look, and, it's, and the patina helps it stick to the fabric or the whatever project you're doing on. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the camera so we can. Okay, that's gonna fix it so you can see not just what we I'm doing. We got like half an hour of live stream left. I haven't yeah. even done my thing. Yeah, so sorry. We're <clears throat> gonna fix this. It's an easy fix. So I'm using four bolts. I've got you guys can see what he's using to hold the laptop up. Oh, there goes my. Nope. Actually, where's my right, mic? It's right there. You're burying it. The mic is behind the liquid patina. There we go. That's a little better. Can you guys still kind of see what we're it doing? this way a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually not really doing anything exciting. I'm just going to finish what I'm working on. There we go. That'll work. That'll get us through. So if you bought the mic of powders, and I think there's silver lining, and then there's the a gold one. I think that one's like New Year's Eve or something is the name of it. And you haven't used them. Definitely Christmas time is the time to get glittery. And a little goes a long way. It's the time of year that I actually use glitter. That has been known to glitter some stuff. All right. So I switched back to the big brush because I got impatient. It was taking a long time. You're going to get a cleaner, crisper um, image with the smaller brush. And I'm just using a cheap little paintbrush to do this. And this is a gray color that Jamie mixed up from DIY paints. <laughs> it's really what we're making do here, man. You can wait till you have all the perfect supplies, or you can just work with the parameters in which you've been given. Well, and hopefully, like, you know, you guys see us mess up and do things and redo things. Hopefully it gives you courage to just get out there and try to do your own crafts because it's a lot of fun and it doesn't have to be perfect to look good. No, and that have you ever seen like store bought stuff? It's messed up all the time. Yeah. And like part of what makes like old signage really pretty is that like people hand painted them and there was like imperfections. That's how you know it's authentic. There we go. All right. I actually kind of just like it with one tree on there. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. I like it just like that. I was going to do 
I was going to do like, uh, so this one here, these farm fresh Christmas trees. I was thinking of stacking the farm and the fresh. What do you, what do you think? Mm, or like, just you know leave me. it. I like simple. I just whacked myself in the face. How's your face feeling now? It's all right. <laughs> so this one here, you can see the front has like that corner bit out and I sanded it and made it look good, but it was literally broken like a big old crack right there. Um, but now it's, it's a little better. It looks like it was intentional. Like I made this so that I could run like the tomato juice off the edge of the cutting yeah, board. Yeah, that's right. When you're do doing tomatoes for Taco Sunday. Mm -hmm. People have Taco Tuesdays. We have Taco Sunday. We pretty much eat tacos every Sunday. Pretty much. If we don't, there's somebody in the house that complains like they were really craving those tacos. Well, and they get they come to expect it. Like that's what we're having. What color should I paint this? I've got this whole thing that I need to paint with this. You can see the divot a little better on, I think, and see that blown out of there, which still perfectly usable as gray. It's got a little extra character now. Can you guys see it? Maybe now it's far away. Can you see that it's sparkly? I don't know. I can't tell. But let me see. You can in real life. Oh, I can definitely see the sparkles. Yeah, I'm going to. You'll have to get a picture later and show them. You'll see it all. You know what? Just be careful. Watch Friday's video. And we're going to have a Christmas home tour, right, Grumpy Pants? Am I grumpy? About filming early. Oh. I just, we'll here's the thing. I don't, I don't like hate birthdays, right? I just don't like people making any kind of to-do about me. So. But you're important. Yeah, that's great. But, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Well, do it for me. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> We didn't do much for my birthday. We so went on a hike and we went oh, to some true. waterfalls. That is true. I'm just saying, like, there's no big party. So, well, actually, uh, this isn't a party either. So, good. But if it makes you feel better, we can say that it's for me. How about that? And I'll eat all the pie. Okay. Well, you don't might, need to have the pie. I might have some pie. I, well, no, because you don't want to celebrate your birthday. I don't want you to eat birthday pie. That, I don't want to, I don't want to enforce birthday pie on you. <laughs> I've ordered from two separate bakeries in case one doesn't have a good day because you can't leave birthday pie to chance. You gotta, you gotta have a good pie. All right, colors on this. What color do you want to see it? I've asked them. I don't know. Oh, um, just I the see. tree. They're saying just the tree. I like that. Um, simple. Is there like uh, old and gray or dark and decrepit? I really like that. Angel, you could buy this cutting board. It'll probably take it a minute or two to get up on our website or email customer care at jamierayvintage.com. Yeah. I don't know. I think we sell them for like $20, if I remember correctly. So it's probably around that price range. Okay. We have some more seconds like that. So maybe in the next few weeks, we'll. Work what on do you that. think about doing this in a white and then doing some dark oil wax over it? Because I kind of wanted it to look aged. Are you just checking the time? No, there was, <laughs> no, no, no. There's like wind and it was blowing the uh, umbrella and it, I thought somebody was in the backyard. Oh. I yeah, there's been that. a lot of wind. There are no leaves left on our trees, really. They're all pretty much off. But if you hang in tight, they'll probably be there all winter. So if I was doing a sign, I could do the same technique with the stenciling and the glitter and I just like this because it's like classic glitter you know it's not like schoolhouse glitter it's really fine it's the next level glitter Debbie did good when she designed it I think I'm just gonna go with the grain I was trying to swirl it and it just wasn't happening the swirling wasn't going the way you wanted to no I had this like in a little shaker bottle, that would probably be better. Less waste. Use a little tiny shaker. I'm still having to be careful with this because this clay, we just did it earlier in the video, right? So it's wanting to, the brush isn't moving it, but it's still a little soft. I don't want to like mush all the rope detail. detail. I wonder if the clay is dry from last week yet. 
I was going to white wax those, but I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it probably that. is dry enough. Like I think that I'm going to do more stuff to projects, but really they, they get about as done as they're going to get when I do them. I very seldom go back and finish them because my ADD kicks in and I move on to something else. I don't know if there's questions. They're closer to you. Can you read them? Um, yeah. Can you hand me the, oh, I can read it. Oops. Let's see. Kai says, hey, don't leave the leaves on the grass. It kills the grass. Come spring, you'll be upset. Yeah, I. it's on the agenda. I just haven't had time since they blew off this weekend to go. We blew them all into a pile um, with the, the leaf blower. Well, Redrick and Jack did. And they got the leaves off the front yard for me. They wanted a new video game. I'm like, I know just the thing that you can do. Is that why they got the Madden game? Yeah. Football game. Yeah, they you can't play football. You do it on the virtually. Football season's over, so now they're playing football video games. Well, they wrestle, so it's when they're tired from wrestling. They came home last night, showered, ate dinner, and played Madden for about thirty minutes. You're supposed to read comments though. I read. Hey one. guys, I'm like Joni. What are we making? So I am just doing some pillowcases with stencils and the mica powders. I'm making. This is silver lining, and Zeb is doing woods products that we yep. just have some seconds that were not quite good enough to sell, but too good to waste because wood is like four million dollars right now. Tom says he's. I, I talked about doing dark oil wax on this. Tom says he's been loving the black, which is very good. Yeah, because it's like a gray tone instead of brown. I do love black oil. I don't know what we have here, though. I'm going to heat gun the top of this real quick so that I can flip it over and paint it. All right. So Andrea wants to know what the name of the French stencil you used is. Do you remember I'll use what the that's French called? French Christmas word. French Christmas word pack or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I'll look it up in just a second. If Caitlin's on there, she probably drop the link. Caitlin, can you also drop the link if you haven't done so already to my sweater? Because we do sell this blanket. It's a sweater jacket. They have the made in Arkansas custom guide. Um, and we do sell this. And I knew I was training because my three-year-old niece had a tie-dyed sweatshirt very similar to this. All right. Like, look, I'm twinning with my niece. I'm too busy crafting. I forgot to watch Lisa says. You know what? That's a good reason to miss, though, Lisa. Crafting is awesome. Okay, let's see. French word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christmas word pack. Lisa said that this looks like a paddle. It's a, like a charcuterie board that's got like an offset handle. Totally but you know like what? We could, you know. Oh, Caitlin just dropped the flacket. Caitlin, can you, because I realize I can't drop the link from my phone. Can you drop the link for the Christmas word pack, the French Christmas word pack? All right, I got to do this before. It All right, I painted up this uh, missing knot hole here. And it's already looking better. What I'm realizing is if I don't stay 100% on the letter, it's okay because it really only shows up well on the dark anyways. So like if I go over the edge of the paint, it's okay. Yeah, because it's about the same color as that. I was being real careful in the beginning, and now I'm over it. It's taking too long. <laughs> Lisa's using new IOD to make ornaments. She says she'll post later. Awesome. Okay, I love, yeah, I love awesome. seeing it. I love seeing it, what you guys do. All right. Yeah, well, we got to finish our ornaments from like three weeks ago. Get yourself a YouTube channel, and then you can get your all your finished. projects done. All right, I'm just shaking <laughs> off the extra. I wish you guys could see. Oh, I guess you can a little bit. Here, move it towards the center. 
There, there you go. go. You guys see the glittery? It, I promise it glitters. Ooh, let that dry before you shake that. What, you don't want a glittery house? That's so <laughs> cute. I didn't know I was going to like this as much as I did. All right. So this is you struck the glitter one. bomb all over the kitchen. <laughs> it's fine. It's Christmas. Everything glitters. And then I'll show you the other one that I did. I could make these pine trees glittery. Maybe I will. This is the other one that I did earlier. So I'm going to make my pine trees because I feel like you've got the whole wood stuff down. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I need to dry this and see what it's going to look like with dark or I, we might have some black oil wax over there. Oh, uh, the pillowcases aren't for sale. These are fine. Sorry. You can probably have this though. I don't, <laughs> we have enough. We haven't, we have like eight cutting boards back there. The, the pillowcases I'm putting in my house. If I have time to make more, I might put some up, but I don't know. The, the, uh, I may have one more of these pillowcases somewhere else. So you can email Caitlin. That way, if I do make one, she's got your information. These are the Sanellas from Ikea. They're like velvety. And... I like them. I think they look really good stencil. Angel Girl says she wants the wooden. So email customer care at Jamie Ray Vintage Angel. Jamie Ray Vintage dot com. Yeah, I'm like not Jamie Ray Vintage Angel. Yeah, don't. <laughs> All right, let me say that again. Email customer care at Jamie Ray Vintage dot com. Comma Angel. Comma Angel. Comma Angel. And then uh, Caitlin can set you up with the details on getting that. I love this. Now I want to use. This or online. you could get your own stencil and we sell the boards unfinished. So. This is true. But not everybody likes the stencil. I mean, it's weird, right? We make it look so fun, it's like therapeutic. All right, pedestal. It's gonna get some heat gun. Maybe all the glitter will distract people from the mistakes I made on these. The perfect embellishment. I made a really weird face when I laughed. We laugh. Shelly Dean says, I have a weakness for cutting boards. In the South, we call them meat boards. <laughs> all your I have out. a weakness for cutting boards, too. I like to cut them out. I always send that picture. Can you make this one? How about this one? They're just so useful. We use, we use cutting boards in our kitchen probably four or five times a day yep, the big one and I use various it. sizes like the big one we get out when we're doing like family dinner for like everybody pizza, like pizza. or pizza uh, the little ones we use for like strawberries or uh, small like like uh, like if Jamie's chopping up nuts or odelia has been baking a lot she's taking a pastry, pastry class. class and she's been baking all kinds of stuff technically you weren't supposed to take pastry unless you took like a prerequisite she just hopped right in and she's been doing great yeah, she's, she's I think she's got an A in the class. She's artistic and I think she likes it. She also has like a pottery class that she's loving. Yeah. She's like, when you, because we went and did the, uh, for our anniversary, we went and, and uh, threw some mugs and had those fired up. And Odelia's like, when are we going to get a kiln and a, and a wheel so that I can, I can throw some pottery? Ah, glitter in your master paper. This is really fine, Linda. Now I got sparkly treats. Linda says she's cleaning the craft room so she can make another mess while listening to us. You see the sparkle <laughs> on my trees? A little bit. The camera on the computer. So now I can check Christmas colors off my list. Check, check. Like so that's what's the what's the exact name of the dust you were using? This is the DIY making powder in silver lining. And they also have New Year's Eve, which is a gold. And it's hard to explain, but it's very um it's just really, really, really fine, like a high-end glitter. But this is made to work on furniture as well, and you can mix it in with wax, or like I did, I sprinkled it on the liquid patina, and that's what holds it in place. And yeah, and it's got a lot of sparkle and a little bit of it. Amazing. 
like everything that DIY makes. And it doesn't even look like I've used any of it, and I did two pillows. Like, I probably could do, like, five or more pillows with one little bottle. All right, I'm going to go get some oil wax. <laughs> Crafting is so messy. Jamie, can you put your mic closer? Yeah, sorry. Can you hear me now? I'm also not talking super loud. I had to tell my mom to talk loud. She talks so, so, so quiet. Um, Carolyn says she loves this. I'm glad you let Renee said she almost missed me. Renee, did you see my pillows that I did? Maybe I'll show them again. Dun, dun, dun. Zeb's working on Woods products and I'm doing Christmas pillows. So this is my French word Christmas pillow using JRB stencils. Renee's my sister, so I got to show her. Um, I don't think we have any oil wax. I thought we had a bunch. Um, what? We don't have any oil wax? We've got hemp oil. That's not going to work. What about dark waxing it? You better clear wax that situation first. Okay. Because if you put dark wax directly over that, it's going to be messy. And maybe use a stencil brush to apply. Do you want me to wash that one? Can. The dark wax, so that way you can just put it where you want it. Can you hand it to me, though? Which one? This? Let's give, well, whichever stencil brush. How do you want to apply the dark wax? I don't know yet. I'm not there. Here, you want to wash that one? Polly says she needs those stencils. They are good. They are good. And the nice thing about our stencils, I'll come closer to the mic, is they're really well made, so you can use them year after year for a ton of projects. So I couldn't find the oil wax that I was going to use. We only have clear uh, hemp oil. So I'm just putting clear wax on here now, being careful not to knock off my uh, my rope that I glued on. It's getting pretty dry. It's cured up. But clear wax first so that I can control the dark wax. My white soap is now dirty. <coughs> Speaking of soap, we have a project we need to finish. They may not hear you from way back there. That, that, you know, we, I'm telling you, we got oh, a project. Oh, we do have a project we have to finish with Maybe soap. Next week. Well, we're not making Thanksgiving things dinner. Yeah. Well, we can do that. We're not making Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> we, uh... Everyone's always offended that we don't make it from scratch. I cook, I actually cook from scratch, like, maybe once a week. I, I know how, but... It used to be Thanksgiving was mom spends a whole week prepping and a whole day cooking for people to order or eat for like 30 minutes. And I don't like leftovers. So then I have to deal with that in my fridge. So in the last few years, we started going out for Thanksgiving to the Brazilian steakhouse. And it's really my favorite. So this year, Caitlin's coming with us. Anyways, so we always find something I fun used to, to do feel instead of cooking. I used to feel bad because I'm like, oh, they're having to work. Well, they're working anyway because there's a bunch of other people that are doing it. And, and some people do Thanksgiving on a different day. Well, and I was talking to one of the uh, the waiters last time and he was like, listen, I'm glad you're here because I make as much today as I make in two weeks. Yeah, people, <laughs> we always tip really good and everybody else, like they make a really good wage. So Cool Cake says she loves leftovers. You can't hear me? Is it maybe my my mic? It's probably delayed from when you were over by the... Uh... Can you hear me now? Um, Cart says we're doing Brazilian barbecue for Patrick's 40th. She can't wait. Nice. nice. Oh, okay. Caitlin says she can hear me. Perfect. Um, a lot of work if you don't like leftovers. And I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna do it for the rest it of my life. It costs about the same amount. It costs the same amount of money and we like it, so that's what we do. Anyways, I digress. We usually do something fun and go to movies. So maybe we'll work on, instead of slaving in the kitchen over Thanksgiving dinner, we'll slave in the kitchen and work on our soap project. Cause we have hard dish soap coming out. And when it came from my apothecary, it came not the way I anticipated it. So we have to melt it down and re-pour it into new containers. And so we can do that on Thanksgiving. Okay, I think that's properly waxed. So do you want to do the uh, the honors and dark wax it? I was going to stencil on top, but I decided to leave it clear. I'm prepared. Give me the wax. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. So there it is. It's a little jar. Little goes a long way with the dark wax. So. Oh, I that's black. Is that black? Mm, yeah, it's fine. 
It is black. If you didn't do clear wax, for, can you around me a paper towel? Yes. If you didn't do clear wax first, what happens is it just looks dirty and it's hard to control. But the clear wax works as a little bit of a barrier. And so it just gets down into the cracks. <gasps> <laughs> there goes the rope. As I did that, I was like, crap. <laughs> All right, well, can you fix that? Yeah, I'll I'll fix it. Maybe don't give it back to me. Wait, you're gonna do the rest on the other side. We'll show them the good side, and then I'll glue another one of these on later. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it. Well, maybe we should right. wait until it dries because it's really hard to like go soft when you're rubbing back. I'm just gonna like cut <laughs> the wax right <laughs> there. It's fine. It's fine. Uh. The Simple Spruce Studio says the brushes are awesome. I can't get enough of them. It moved. Renee says it's not like it's a religious holiday. Like, I'm thankful that I can go. And I actually don't like turkey. So there's another situation. Turkey is a pain in the butt to get right. And I do make a bomb turkey. But I don't even like it. I like steak and shrimp. That's what I get at the Brazilian Steakhouse. And I'm thankful for that. Whoops. Here, um, <laughs> we keep gently wax the rest. Here, do the bottom because that wood's not going to move. Okay. And I'll make another piece. Are you sure really about that? Quick. Can I flip this over? Yeah, it's dry. I mean it's waxed, but it's fine. <laughs> it's just a little snafu. We're going to power through. I, yeah, it's just life. We have a conference call after this, and I think I might be taking a nap. <laughs> you might get your wish come true of working on your birthday because I'm not going to get enough work done. Caitlin also doesn't really like turkey. <laughs> See? And Caitlin's coming with us with her two little boys, so it works out. And for Christmas Deb says, season, who needs all those calories? Well, I'm, I'm going to oh, eat a lot. I'm going to eat a lot. <laughs> we eat a lot. And then we're going to do pie with Ty and Raya. Yeah. So we're going to hit all the things, be with the family, be super thankful. Um, and then for Christmas Eve, we always do, uh, well, not always. The last few years we've done teppanyaki. Although last Christmas Eve, was it, it was a really long wait. Yeah, it took like two so hours to get seated. we might go earlier in the day or go somewhere else. It was good. The kids always really like it. And it's a big treat because teppanyaki is expensive. And so is Brazilian Steakhouse. So it's not like it's something we do all the time. So it's really, the kids really like it. It's not McDonald's. It's, it's upgraded. Or not Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, which I guess is a religious holiday. But the people that work there are Japanese, and they the people that they don't celebrate Christmas, maybe? I don't know. Some of them do. Is Christmas on Sunday this year, though? Because we wouldn't do that. I do make tamales on Christmas Eve. That's what I make on Christmas Eve. All right, I think I got enough made up again. Let me hand that back over here. What? This? No, the. I'm going to glue this on. And what? I guess I can glue this on later when you're done waxing. Oh, you want this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. I didn't wax underneath there because you don't need to. Nobody's going to see that. All right, so we got the good wax on there. Makes it look old. And once it dries a little bit, we might buff it even more. Yeah. But it kind of gives us some good age. Well, the paper towel really wasn't working well because it's like scratchy. Let me see if I can get this repair going. Are you going to name like a sitting spot nook area in the stuff keeps moving? Did you lose it? I don't know. Did you lose the comment? The, can I have this? Yep. Oops. Our family likes shrimp oil on Christmas. I accidentally. Put the wrong one. All right. Can I use natural wood filler? It said it was stainable, but it won't stain. Um, it sucks. Yeah, it never stains. It never stains. We use wood shavings and wood, and it stains better than natural wood filler. Okay. I wish I had a better answer for you, but that is the absolute truth. It I've never well. found one, even if it says stainable, that will take the stain and look the same as the yeah. wood. You've almost got to like, you know, like do like some faux painting. Oh, there it is. Lunchbox lady says, are you going to name a sitting nook at the church area for the previous owners or something like that? I don't know. We'll see. That's a good idea. Christmas is on a Saturday. All right. And then the tradition lives on. Sunday we don't eat out. 
Sunday we stay home. Yes, Leah says she cooks her uh, turkey breast down so it turns out moist. I also do that. So when I make a turkey, I brine it for a few days and then I take butter and bacon and seasonings and I go up under the skin and do that all over it. And then I baste like every 20 minutes and I do breast down and I cook it slow and it's delicious, but I just don't like turkey. My bun is sideways today. I feel like it's, my bun is an accurate description of my life today. <laughs> Joni says, love that you just go with the flow and fix a boo-boo. I make goofs and not always so calm about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joni, I've screwed up a lot in my life. It's something I've become good at. <laughs> All right, we're not going to wax the rope right now. We're going to let that dry because it's not real rope, it's clay. All right, so this actually is a little rustic. It didn't ever As get- I was reading comments in case I looked weird. It didn't ever get sanded because of the way that that popped out. I, I stopped, I didn't sand it, I just made another one. Um, so that's why some of this wax is really sitting down in that wood drain. But you and can sand it after you've waxed it. Yeah, we'll sand it a little bit and then that'll tone some of those darker areas back. I thought that turned out really good. So, so something like this would probably be in like the 40 to 45 dollar range I need yeah to buy all the parts. i mean when you go online and try to buy something like this they're always like 60 70 bucks they might be a little larger but they're not they're they're pretty pricey yeah so like 40 to 45 dollars just give you guys an idea in case you make something similar on your own so um Y'all fix that so fast. Well, Virginia, he's been fixing my mistakes for a lot of years. We have a joke. So I break stuff. And every time he fixes it, he's like, well, at least I know you got to keep me around to fix stuff. And then last night, I came home from being gone for three days. He realizes he hasn't eaten anything all day. And I made some dinner. I mean, it was, and by make is a loose term. I like to buy really easy pre-made stuff from Costco. And I heated it up. And I made him a plate and I said, well, at least, you know, I know you'll keep me around because otherwise you'll go hungry. So, you know, it's a symbiotic relationship. I feed him. He fixes my stuff. All right. So we did three projects. Jamie did the two pillows. The two pillows. They were and then this pedestal was like basically a broken. Uh, the uh, candlestick. Th This candlestick was going to. It wasn't sellable the way it was. Now I think it's fine. It kind of hides up underneath like, how there. Do I hold both of them? there we you go. can't see the divot. Oh my. Your mug's in the way. There we go. And this is a cutting board. It's got a, or, or as some people would say, a paddle. It's an off handle charcuterie board. If you need stencils or if you'd like to buy the wood blanks, we sell those as well in our wood section of the website, or if you need clay or anything like that, just go to jamierayvintage.com. We have it all there, including my cute little jacket. Um, and if you have questions about your projects, feel free to ask below and we will answer them um, when we can. Give yep. this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Have I also a great didn't Wednesday. get to this one, but you know, we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure something else out, kind of like the other one. Or we'll put it back in the garage. Maybe. Maybe we'll just put it back in the garage for next next project. See you guys.